and we'll say a few things about sigma notation. The Greek letter sigma, mathematically, it's very commonly used to stand for sum, S-U-M, sum. So all it means is add, that's all. It's a, it looks real fancy and it's sometimes kind of scary looking, but all it means is add. So when you see sigma x, that just means the sum of x. So you have a bunch of numbers, all that means is you add them up. So uh, this, it commonly shows up in more advanced math classes, but it's good to learn it now and know what it means. That Greek letter is sigma and it just means sum. So this is sometimes called sigma notation or sometimes called summation notation. But all it means is find the total, add them up. So when we're told find sigma x for the given set of numbers, we just have to add these numbers. That's all we're doing. So let's add them up. And these things are a little easier to add if we can group them together. So I'm going to look at that 3 and that 5 right there. Those together give me an 8. And then I have this 12 here, so 8 plus 12. And this negative 8 and the negative 2 add up to a negative 10. So I have 8 and 12 and negative 10, and that's pretty easy. The 8 and the 12 add up to a 20. And along with a negative 10 gives me a total of positive 10. So that's my answer in that case. In this example we're told to find the sum. This is pretty easy because this, these are very organized and we can group them very effectively. The 1 and the 9 together give me a 10 and the 2 and the 8 give me a 10 and the 3 and the 7 give me a 10 and the 4 and the 6 give me a 10 and I have that single 5 left over all by itself so I have 10 and 10 and 10 and 10 that's 40 plus the 5 gives me a total of 45 and this example here 4, 8, negative 3, 7, 11 and negative 5 add them up I'll just demonstrate another method, just the straightforward left to right method. The, there's no apparent way to group them that uh, comes to mind apparently. So I'm just going to start at the left and I'm going to say 4 plus 8, that's 12. And then I have a minus 3. Now let's go ahead and do that. The 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. And then that takes into account the 4, the 8, and the minus 3. And then I have a 7, so 9 plus 7, well, that gives me a 16. So the 16 takes into account all of those four numbers. And then after the 16, I've got this 11 here. So 16 plus 11, that gives me 27. And then I have the negative 5, so 27 minus 5 comes out to 22 and that's my answer and you can see I just worked through here left to right I kept my work organized along the way and I just started adding those two and then I had the minus 3 and then the 7 and then the 11 and the minus 5 and came to a final answer so just adding or subtracting as the case may be with the negative numbers left to right another way to find the sum of a group of numbers fairly easily.